Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah. Excellent. So uh, obviously we're you know, all involved in a very awesome event here tonight. Um, there's a lot of spiritual activity in the air, especially with Halloween and uh, the pagan holiday, what's it called, Sowen? Sowen. Sowen, thank you for all of those who are pagan out there. Um, I just find it coincidental that these holidays all fall on the same time of the year, Day of the Dead, Sowen. Now, Day of the Dead is obviously celebrated in Mexico. It came from the Aztecs. The Spanish, who then invaded the Mexican area, took it over. And obviously the Mexican people have embraced that tradition from the Aztecs and kind of run with it. Uh, if you go down to Mexico at this time of year, it's absolutely incredible to see the celebrations that go on in the cemeteries. Now, what does Day of the Dead represent? Okay. The importance of Day of the Dead is to get in touch with your dead ancestors. Now, this is not saying that you want the ghost of your ancestors to inhabit your house or cohabitate with you but you definitely want their spiritual visitation, okay? Now, we have practiced ancestral worship in our home for many years now, and it's not as creepy as it sounds, okay? The thing is, is paying homage to your past relatives who you want to stay connected with. Um, in our house, what we've done, during the holidays especially, we like to invite our loved ones to come back and to visit us, okay? Now with my father-in-law, we'll leave a shot of whiskey, a cigarette, and his favorite My mother-in-law, we leave her favorite cookie, and we leave her some water, and her rosary beads. Now it's interesting because the first time we did this, first time we did this was Christmas, and we had a big celebration over at our house, so Christmas Eve, Vivian and myself and my son Robert, who was four years old at the time, decided that we were going to try this out and see how it worked and see if we could connect. So we took in the Day of the Dead theory and paid homage to our ancestors. And like I said, we took a picture of my father-in-law, who's long since gone, and we held it up. And we just talked, you know, prayed to him basically and said, Dad, we really miss you. We love you. And this is for you for the holidays. We hope you come and visit us. So we all go to bed that night. The next morning, we wake up. And of course, it's 6.30 in the morning because we have a four-year-old. And this one's not an early riser. So she's kind of straggling down the hallway still. But my little guy, our little guy, goes running down, grabs the first present he can find. I'm sitting in my dad chair, half asleep. Mind you, I've been involved in the paranormal at this time, so I know when there's weird things going on. I'm sitting in my dad chair. My little guy grabs the present, sits down right here in front of me, and I'm looking straight at him. All of a sudden, I see somebody in my peripheral vision go from right to left, and I see my son go like this. So in my head, I'm going, I know what just happened. We're having a spiritual visitation. How am I going to handle it with my little guy? So I look at him. He looks at me, and he goes, Dad, did you see that? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, what'd you see? <laughs> and he goes, it was Grandpa. Aww. And of course, I'm like, I'm touched. And I'm like, well, how do you know it was Grandpa? And he stood up. And he goes over the mantle and he points at a picture of uh, Viv's dad from the Korean War when he was young, tight, and fit, and very good looking in his uniform. And he said, he looked like that. And I said, all right, very good. I said, well, say hi, Grandpa. You know, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Grandpa. So Viv came down late. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, and I'm just like, I got to tell you the story later. So all through the day, we've had all of our relatives over. And we've got tons of people. Now, mind you, there's a lot of members of our family who are very skeptical of what we do. And actually, a lot of them look at us like we're nut jobs. 
And I'm sure some of you have family that look at you like that as well. <laughs> so yeah, we're the black sheep of the family, basically, okay? So it was interesting though, because even the skeptical non-believers that we had in our house, like my brother-in-law, he comes over to me at one point, and he goes, Devin, I think I've had too much to drink. And I went, you look fine to me, you look all right, what's the matter? He goes, I swear to God, Dad was just looking in the window in the backyard. And I'm just like, <laughs> really? That's weird. But it was funny because two or three people had the same experiences after we talked about it. You know, we talked about it later that night, we found out that, yeah, Dad had been seen walking by the window, or walking down the hall, or Dad was hanging out all day long. So, the really cool thing was, 11 o'clock that night, all the partying and festivity is gone, and I am long gone asleep, my son's asleep, and my lovely wife and her sister are hanging out in the living room having sister time. So I'll let you take it from here. So my sister and I are visiting um, with each other, kind of sitting on the couch just like we did when we were kids. I was hanging upside down off the other end of the couch, knowing that my mom wasn't there to see me yet, so I could do it. <laughs> um, we were conversating, and my father came down the hall from where his bedroom would have was at the time, and went into the kitchen, and both of us looked at each other at that moment and said, did you see that? And we did, and we knew exactly who it was. He was young, in his uniform. Let us know that he was there, and when you tune into it, he was, he was gone in seconds. But it was just, it was a beautiful thing to be able to see him there. So I truly believe that it does work if you do that. So, now, do we believe that my father in law is haunting our house? No, not at all because he was there that day and then he was gone, okay? And he shows up every now and then on holidays and then it's on special occasions when we ask them to. But the point is, and the point of this story, and the reason for this holiday, is that we as Americans have become disconnected and disassociated with our own pasts and our own relatives. And if you go into and do research on other cultures from in Asia, to Brazil, Central America, Mexico, obviously, even up in Alaska, and Antarctica. And, I mean, you go to all these places and everybody is doing some kind of ancestral worship. But for some reason, we have all become very disassociated with it. So I guess the whole point of this is to kind of reconnect with our own history. And that's why we believe that Day of the Dead is something that should be represented and something that should be practiced. 